Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jillis, and today I'm back on Pokemon Showdown today for another Sun and Moon OU Showdown Live, this time using this uh, Mega Pidgeot team. Uh, Mega Pidgeot obviously has a great speed stat, it's really strong, and with the new Mega Speed buff this generation, it outspeeds stuff like the Lottie's Thunderous Eye, not that that's uh, co quite commonly used, but we just have uh, the standard set right here with HP Ground obviously for Heatran, and then we have Scarf uh, Landorus in the back here. A lot of people will think bulky, but uh, because this is really the only rocker on the team, but we're running Scarf. And then we have uh, Defog support, just because uh, Mega Pidgeot doesn't like uh, rocks, obviously. Subcom Mind Raku, a set that I really like using in uh, Draft League format, but I'm excited to see how it does here. And then um, AV Magirna, just to help out with Ask Greninja, Kelio. Uh, we have several Kelio switch-ins on this team. And then um, E Belt Protean Greninja with HP Fire, Exponentially, Gunk Sots, and Spikes. So. We'll see how the uh, team does. I'm really excited to see if Mega Pidgeot can do some work. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get a game right now. Uh, the Azure Drill, the team will be down in the description, guys, if you guys want to use it alongside me. And definitely be sure to subscribe down below if you um, enjoy this video and don't want to miss any other content. But uh, we have a match. And this guy has a Tyrantrum, which is actually kind of a big threat because my only rail switch in is Landorus, and I, it's not really a switch in, so. Uh, Mega Pidgeot completely destroys this team. I just need to get a bit of damage off on the Hoopa. Actually, I don't because uh, we have U-Turn, but um, I also need to weaken the Tyrantrum a little bit. But I honestly don't see a reason not to lead off with it and just U-Turn out, so we're going to do just that. If it's Hoopa, then I might just uh, hard switch just because I don't want to risk it being Scarf. Yeah, he's going to lead off with um, his Finny right here, so he could go right for Nature's Madness. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and U-Turn out. He's probably going for a Nature's Madness. Let me actually turn down this effect volume because that's kind of loud. And uh, we'll go out into our Raku right here. Uh, probably on a Nature's Madness. Nope, he actually Calm Mind, okay. Uh, so, what I can do here is I could just Calm Mind up alongside him. I know I beat him 1v1. And if he's going to let me get the setup, then I'm okay with that. Yep, he's going to try to 1v1 me, but I know he can't. Because I'm going to be doing about 50% with my Thunderbolts. And I have Substitute too, I don't even know if he can break that. So let's just skip some turns right here. So we're going to set up alongside each other. I think I just realized, it, realized how Scald did 0. If he gets a burn, that could be a bit annoying. But what I'm going to do here is throw off a Thunderbolt. Or Substitute actually, I'm just going to sub up. He actually broke it. So we Thunderbolt again. Really hoping he doesn't switch right here. Seems also we got like a spit after drop or something. Ah, uh, we para him. Breaks through. That shouldn't knock me out, right? So uh, we might be good here. I'm just going to Thunderbolt again. He honestly should go Steelix, but I, I can't risk the top of any just knocking me out. I honestly can, actually, because I can revenge kill this thing and it's really low. So we do catch the Steelix with the HP Ice, which is great because we're going to get a ton of damage off on that thing. And what I can do here is just Hidden Power again. He doesn't have a good switch in, especially since Venusaur is not Mega Evolved. It doesn't get its stick fat right away, so uh, that thing doesn't want to take the hit. And any damage on Hoopa would have been great there too. Uh, not sure whether he outspeeds me with anything. I'm hoping he goes Hoopa, and it's not Scarf. If this isn't Scarf, that would be great. It is Scarf, so uh, we have this to deal with now. Uh, what I can do though, is since I know he's Scarf, I can go out into my Greninja. The only problem here is... Um, yeah, I'll go out onto Megirna instead, because I don't. Ha if I had a Dark-type move on that, I would go out into it, but I don't, so... What I'll do here is just throw off a... A Flash Cannon hits everything. Out comes the Paralyzed Tapu Fini, so I'll get the kill on this, which is good. And, uh, we'll just throw off another one. He doesn't have a switch in. Uh, we got a Soul Heart boost. Uh, right here, Tyrantrum could come out. Uh, Hoopa could come back out if it has something to hit me. Not sure. Uh, I know I outspeed Buzzwall. I know I live in Earthquake, so I'm just going to go for Flash Cannon. I definitely live in Earthquake with max HP. Uh, I, I even Adamant and Band, I'm pretty sure. Let's just calc before I get ahead of myself. Tyrantrum. Twist Banded, Adamant, Earthquake. It doesn't even... Does it even get Earthquake? Well, we're going to calc for it. Against, uh, Magirna. Assault Vest. Earthquake does 89 to 105. That's a roll I'll take. Because he has to be adamant choice banded. If he's Dragon Dance, I can't let this thing set up right now. We, although we do have Scarf Landorus in the back, he might expect me to... Yep, he's going to go for the Dragon Dance and take this Flash Cannon. Brings him up to Sash. Okay, so I'm going to go out into Landorus now. 
probably on an earthquake. Yeah, there's the earthquake, and uh, this gives me the U-turn out. It will pick this thing off, we know it's at 1 HP, and uh, it will give me momentum if anything else comes out. So we get rid of that thing, and we can bring out our uh, Mega Pidgeot right now. Mega Pidgeot pretty much wins the game. This I will U-turn out on. Oh, it's Scarf, it's Scarf. He doesn't knock me out, though. He doesn't knock me out, yeah. Goes for a Destiny Bond, and he doesn't even- I don't even kill him, which is kind of funny. So we'll go, uh, this here, start layering up some spikes, because, uh, I know he's Scarfed into Destiny Bond. <laughs> That's funny, I really expected that to kill. He's gonna go Venusaur, what I can do is Extra Sensory this. We're not Shattered Psyche, are we? No. So I'll Extra Sensory it here, get a ton of damage off on this thing. Uh, Destiny Bond is a cool tech, but, uh... I honestly could have gone for another spike just to let, not let that mod come back out again, but that does a lot. He goes for energy ball, does a lot. And what I'm actually going to do here is just lay off that spike, just so Hoopa is not able to come back in again, because I don't want to scarf Destiny bonding, and at this point Pidgeot just wins the match. Yeah, unless it's scarf Buzzwell too, I guess. But uh, we hurricane this, we hurricane that, and that dies to hazards right here. Unless Venusaur gets priority somehow and knocks me out here, but either way we should be fine. Let me make sure I'm just ignoring. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, uh, if he should just knock us out, that's his best play if he can't do anything else. Because uh, there's no point in letting... Uh, he's going to switch out. And to the Hoopa to let it uh, not take the damage. So, I mean... Oh, this is where a Water Shuriken would be kind of neat. But what I'll do here is to switch out into Magirna. Probably on like a Psyshock or a Dark Pulse. Or a Shadow Ball. So what I'll do here is just go for a Flash Cannon. It doesn't have a switch in. Actually, what's my other move? Uh, Hidden Power Fire? Well, I could just go for that. But no, Flash Cannon's fine. It does nothing, and uh, I think Magirna will take this game instead, but Pidgeot definitely uh, did a lot of work versus him. Uh, you'd only U-turned out twice, but it pretty much clicked Hurricane, which is everything. Especially when he uh, sacked Steelix like that. This is going to take some damage and then go down to a Flash Cannon. You know what? If this guy's going to do that, I'm just going to go right out into Pidgeot. <laughs> And Pidgeot's gonna get these kills now, thanks. Yeah, I know I could have lived a Sludge Bomb, so Hurricane's gonna knock this thing out and knock out Buzzle. Yep, down it goes, and Buzzle will go down to a Hurricane. I'm glad Pidgeot can get these kills in the end. Uh, he's gonna let me kill him too, which is cool. So Pidgeot will get these final two kills, and that will be the match. So let's go ahead and get another one. We are back in the 1400s, finally. I've been having some really rough times on the ladder losing matches because I keep on missing hydro pumps but we have rain <laughs> and uh, the annoying thing about rain is uh, it would uh, it would honestly be good if I didn't have no guard but I do have no guard on this so I can't miss any attacks so um, I, if the rain was up I wouldn't miss hurricanes anyway but he doesn't really have a good hurricane switch in in the first place unless it's AV torn but what I'll do here is just lead off with my Raikou can definitely win but Swampert's the main issue with that so what I'll do here is lead off with my if he's leading Pelipper, I want to lead Raikou. Leads Coco, and I know I can deal with this thing, so I'm going to go right for a Thunderbolt. Or honestly, it's a rain team. Do I really want my uh, Coco getting weakened? No, I'm going to go Magir now. Even if he Volt switches out, that's fine. He would have to bring out, like, Swampert or uh, Ferrothorn, but I do have HP Fire. He might scout for it. But uh, I, don't, I can't let Raikou get weakened in this matchup. It does, uh, actually, it, it's kind of walled by Swampert. Do I just want a Thunderbolt right away? I'm going to do that. Because even if he goes Swampert, I do have my uh, uh, Tapu Fini as a switch in. Although it probably dies to a ton of Earthquakes, so he should go Swampert right here. Yeah, this is obviously probably the offensive set with uh, Rain Dance and all that. But what I'll do here is just switch out into my Tapu Fini. Probably on like um, an Earthquake. Yeah, there's the Earthquake. We can take some of those. And, um, honestly, I just want to throw off a Nature's Madness. If he lets me Nature's Madness this, this, that would be amazing. Kind of hoping he does and just goes through Earthquake here. Whatever he switches out into will take 50% too, so that's fine. Um, I can 1v1 Pelipper. But then again, I don't want to play around with Hurricane, so I probably won't stay in on that. But I'm kind of hoping he just lets me get the damage off on this. He's gonna go Fire Thorn. So I can taunt this thing, even if he has power up, it's not the biggest deal. He, um, I don't, I don't, I'm getting up a leech sheet or rocks or anything, so we're going to taunt here. As he did attempt to, he just knocked me off, okay, so, what I'll do here is, uh, he has a knockoff, probably Gyra Ball, so, he can't really touch this. 
yes, power up instead. Okay, so I just chucked away my um, Batmon, but this is all right. We'll go to Pidgeot right here, Mega Evolve, and uh, Heat Wave. This Mon can still win, so it's not the end of the world, but Tapu Koko is the main problem right now. He goes Pelipper on it, so that's all right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to U-turn out. It's probably, I doubt it would be Scarf Pelipper. And even if it does, I could take one Scald, but uh, we get that play right, which is awesome. I could have Hurricane right there, I'm not sure why I did that, but uh, what I'll do here is just bring out my Finny. Go right for a Nature's Madness. Two Earthquakes can knock me out, sure, but then he's going to be wasting his rain turns, and honestly, he could just bring this out later. I'm Scarf Landorus. I don't think that outspeeds Mega Swampert in the rain. It's really fast, like Drill in the rain. Even Scarf Lottie doesn't outspeed Drill in the rain, so... Uh, Nature's Madness will do a big amount here. Bring this guy down to 45%, or he should just go Ferrothorn and try to hazard stack me again. Unfortunately, they had, that he had the power up. I would think it would be... Um, Stealth or Oxlead Seed Guy or a Bald Knockoff, but uh, whatever this guy prefers, I guess. <clears throat> so we'll try to answer his Madness, this guy. He's going to go out into the Tapu Koko, which I'll definitely take the damage on. We connect, too. And honestly, I'm going Landorus on this guy's T-Bolt. He could U-turn out, I guess, but um, if I can go Landorus on, a on an Electric-type attack and then bluff the Scarf, I mean, and then uh, hit him up with the Scarf Earthquake, that would be amazing. Goes for a Nature's Madness, which is completely alright. I'm hoping he stays in right here. Just to take this Earthquake, this is thinking like, oh, I can just outspeed an HP Ice. He does do that, so uh, we do not come out with the Earthquake, which is great. And uh, he knows I'm locked in, so he can go Torn or Pelipper right here. It is actually going to go Kingdra, so we can go out into our um, Tapu Fini against this. Which takes too much from that attack, to be honest. But, uh, do we lose? I have to bring in Magirna safely, so what we'll do is we'll just Moonblast right here on a Hydro Pump Connect. And then I'll go Magirna. I will click, uh, Shift Gear Magirna would do a ton here, but I'll click Volt Switch. And then I'll bring out my, um, my Raikou. Raikou might take one. I'll go for Thunderbolt. Oh wait, uh, Rain is gone. So what I'll do here is just, uh, Substitute, I think. Substitute seems fine. If he lets me set up, that would be amazing. If he, I'm hoping he goes Pelipper and just, I just get a ton of calm minds up. And just win like that. And the only problem is, if he goes Pelipper and then there gets the rain up, then... Uh, I don't know if you expect me to be some calm mind. He did already see the leftovers, so... It's, I guess, not that, like, surprising if I am that set. He's gonna go directly into Swampert, so that's what I didn't want to see. So we're just forced to HPS this thing twice. And take out what we can get. Alright, uh, this should do... It does 18. <laughs> Goes for the Earthquake, I'm definitely not doing this again. Uh, I'm going right out into my... I don't have a Waterfall switch in, so he's going to go for a Waterfall right here. I'm just going to stay in an HP Ice. He should go for Waterfall and not knock me out. And then I can get a lot of damage off onto this thing and put it into range of my Landorus's attack. Goes for the Earthquake again, so he made the, he made the better prediction right there. So I go Landorus right here. Go right for Earthquake. Or a U-turn, I guess. He's not going to stay in. He's going to go Pelipper or Tornadus or something. And if he stays in, then I guess good play. I don't know. But I think we just lose to Kingdra in the rain right now. He's going to go out into Pelipper. So pretty much what I have to do here is just make a ton of switches. So what I'll do here is just Flash Cannon to stall out the rain. Or I can just Volt Switch. Knock this thing out. If he stays in, but the rain matchup is really tough right here. So we're going to get momentum unless he goes pert. Like, it's whatever. He does go out into Swampert, so uh, that's just going to be the game. I'm not going to waste that time. I'm just going to click X and find another one. Rain matchup is really tough, especially with uh, Mega Swampert, but we find Skarm Bliss, probably Banded Zygarde, Mega Beedrill, to Volt Turn kind of thing. I guess it's just Turn, because he doesn't really have a... Well, he has Magnezone, which probably has a Volt Switch, but what we'll do here is just lead off with our... Mega Pidgeot can honestly win, and it, and it gets so much momentum too. We have to keep Landorus healthy, I'm hoping he chokes at some point and just, uh, just leaves in Beedrill. But my lead right here can just be Pidgeot. He could lead off with Beedrill, which is the problem, but I have Landorus, so... Yeah, he's gonna lead off with this, just that, so I can go Landorus right here. I'm probably a U-turn. Um, if he U-turns, then he probably sees that I'm not Scarf. 
Yeah, he definitely knows that I'm Scarf now. Or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Earthquake's definitely knocking you out. Maybe he's trying to bait the Earthquake, so then I go, um... Oh, he, we don't knock him out. Oh, that sucks. But we he goes down to Life Orb Recoil. And this gives me... He's probably going to go right back out into that bead drill, to be honest. So we'll go Greninja right here. And we'll... Uh, I don't like all this guy's switches, so I'm just going to throw off by... We should live a Poison Gem. I'm just going to throw off an extra Sensory. We don't live a U-turn, but that's fine. Beedrill, uh, I match up is really tough too. We'll go Raikou. We'll start Calm Minding up. Probably on a Volt Switch. He goes for Volt Switch, so uh, we should be able to take a hit from Beedrill and hopefully do some work against that. Uh, the problem is Chansey can just come out now. And Chansey is the big problem here for this mod. Uh, we don't have a knockoff user, which kind of sucks. We probably did on Landers, and I just didn't see it. But he honestly should go Chansey. He, I don't know if he would ever expect me to be Aorus here, since I am shiny. I guess that's the purpose of this thing being shiny, because um, potential Aorus Sphere bluff is a thing. He goes Chansey, so that's expected. Can I 1v1 him? How much are plus 6 uh, attacks doing to him? Raikou, Calm Mind, Substitute plus Calm Mind, plus 6. Yeah, that's plus 6 attack. Plus 6 special attack. We're doing a lot, but I don't know if I can get that high. Do we have enough HP to... I only have 321. We can't make substitutes big enough to live chances. Which, by the way, speaking of that, I'm doing a Kiram Black Lab with Substitute earlier, later this week. And it's going to have enough, um, a big enough HP stat to live chancy substitutes. I'm excited for that. I'm forced to switch out here and take a Seismic Toss at something. So we'll go, uh, we'll go Tapu Fini here and throw off a Nature's Madness. What I'm hoping happens here is I go for Nature's Madness and then taunt him to keep him low. So Nature's Madness right here. He should expect it and just switch out. That would be his better play. Just go like Beedrill. Goes Magnezone, which is, uh, I guess, a better play too. Um, I'm going to go right out to Mag Magir now right here on a Volt Switch. Yeah, there's the Volt Switch. So Zygarde's going to come out now. I don't have a Switch in. I'm really hoping it's Scarf and not Banded. If Zygarde comes out, I might just be forced to stay in and hope he's not the set. Uh, all these bad matchups, like Mega Beedrill and then Rain. Those, this team just really struggles with all that. I'm gonna hope he's not Banded. And we, he's actually not, so we're gonna um, not come out with- not knock him out, okay. Uh, he's uh, Leftovers. So I guess what we'll do is go right for this again. And then we'll go um, Mega Pidgeot. Mega Evolve and Hurricane. And uh, he actually has to E speed, so that sucks because now I'm in range of the Beedrill's Poison Jab, and we don't have a switch in for that. So that should honestly be his play right here. And I'll probably have to sack my Finny and then go Raku. Or I could sack Pidgeot. But honestly, Pidgeot could win the game if he chokes away something, so not the best play in my opinion. You need to choke away his Beedrill for me to have any chance here. So I just have to get a ton of plays right, basically. So uh, he should go B drill here. I go right. I go. I sack off any. Go Raikou, and then I can't sack off any. I need it for the Chansey. What do I sack off? I sack off for Raikou. Go f go back out into Pidgeot. No, go Finny. I don't know if I have a way out of this one because if he um, goes B drill right here, which he is going to, I have to sack off Finny and go to Raikou. He goes for Poison Jab. We actually lived it, so I guess uh, misplay. He's just gonna go for it again. And then um, what I'll do here is go Raku and hope he sacks away his B drill, or I could just calm mind up and hope that works. Basically, I could win this match if I um, para him with uh, Thunderbolt or crit him and knock him out. Assuming Thunderbolt doesn't already knock him out, but I doubt it does. Fell Stinger. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> Uh, Raikou can't take one now, so, um, good tech on his part. He was just calc probably calcing to see if that killed. We have, uh, Web's offense now, which, uh, with Mega Lopini, which I guess is cool to see. We have a taunt user. Uh, it doesn't outspeed Smeargle. So I'll lead off with Finny. Just anti-lead the Smeargle right now, and what I'll do here is just, uh, Moonblast him. 
you can't uh, really deal with this. And then I can also just need to use Madness for his turn too. That's the better play. Because he's going to go Chansey. And then what I can do is Taunt to follow it up. On a Soft Boiled. And then Nature's Madness him again on a Seismic Toss. Nope, he's going to switch out. Into the Magirna. So we get a ton of damage off on that thing. And then what I'll do here is switch out into my own Magirna. It's fine. He's going to shift gear up. I know he can't 1v1 me. So what I'll do here is throw off, uh, which they have the same power. Flash gun goes from 80 to 120. Shift gear goes from, I mean, uh, hidden power fire goes from 60 to 120. So we got that damage off, and then we'll, we'll switch and do the trick. Probably not, so let's go for a flash cannon again. I want to volt switch expecting Chansey. He actually goes Smeargle, so that's uh, better because uh, we crit him too. And what I can do here is just go out into my um, Landorus. And does Scarf Landorus U turn knock him out, or do I have to go for Earthquake? Uh, for Scarf against uh, Smeargle. Hazard lead, U-turn does a lot, so we can just go for U-turn right here, knock that guy out, and go Greninja. Uh, I Sure, I did give Chansey a recovery, I guess, but um, I, sh I should have just gone Finny, what am I doing? There is Chansey. Uh, spikes is an option right here, I honestly like the odd option too, I'm just going to start layering up Spikes. He's going to soft boiled up. I could just, I'm just going to get up all three layers, I don't see why not. He's just going to forfeit, yeah. You don't have a chance. You don't really have a chance after that with that hazard stack. We lost a ton of points over two losses. I'm surprised, but uh, we'll get one more, I think, and that should end it off. I'll check how long it's been after this, and then we'll see from there. Uh, we you get f to finally see a heat trend. So hidden power ground Pidgeot could finally do some work. What I'll do here is lead off with my uh, Landorus, hoping to catch something off guard. Hopefully, like uh, Lottie. Or Greninja, I guess, works too. He should just go Celesteela right here, but in, on the off chance he does. Well, I guess U turn's the best play anyway. He's actually Scarf Greninja, so he's gonna get the better end of that exchange. But uh, knowing he's Scarf, what does this give me? This gives me a Raikou as a switch in, I guess. We'll go Raikou, and uh, we'll start Calm Minding up. Sounds good to me. Calm Mind. I'm hoping he doesn't go directly into Titar. I'm hoping it was like, he's actually going to stay in and do nothing. So we calm mind up. And then we can calm mind up again. And now he's not even breaking my substitute, so I can substitute here. Uh, I'm really hoping he doesn't have another Scarf on his team. He's really choking the game away right now. He freezes me. Of course. Okay, I'm just going to play as though I'm not frozen. That's what, I, that's what Joey tells us to do, just hope you thaw. Ignore. Please, uh unfreeze okay well uh that just he just choked the match away and then he gets it back easily just like that we broke through <laughs> he actually attempted to dragon dance too which is funny we lose no no we don't we um he ice punches what i do is go magirna he doesn't knock me out with earthquake and i just go for flash cannon yep that doesn't knock me out uh, he actually did a good amount with that hit, and uh, I'm just gonna hope he misses Stone Edge right here. He actually goes right for Fire Punch. Now I'm going to so now I go Tapu Fini, and we just have to sock our whole team to beat this Tyranitar. We take that, and uh, the only way I win right now is with uh, Pidgeot. Pidgeot can win the match if I can weaken Celesteela. He goes Greninja, probably has Gunk Shot. Please miss. Just some justice, please. Don't go for... He should go for Gunk Shot and miss. That, that would be ideal right here. And I kind of need this thing weakened too, so I'm just going to go out for Nature's Madness. He does miss. So, um... Can you miss again, is the question? Nope. So, uh... We go Greninja right here. We go right for, um... Extra Sensory. On his Celesteel. Uh, this is great, because I can damage this thing a little bit. That is a sizable amount. I think my play is just to start spike stacking. No, it's not. I need damage on the Lottie too. Uh, I could confuse stuff with Hurricane, that's what I'm gonna have to go off of right now. So, uh, just, I'm gonna start spike stacking just to put um, the Greninja into range of my attack. So, what we'll do is hidden power right here. 
Oh, and hopefully not a double protect. Okay, good. Uh, I'll spikes right here. Spikes, I'm trying to win the game with Mega Tijia. Assuming I live um, an Ice Beam. If I don't live an Ice Beam, then it's over anyway. But I'm thinking uh, at full health, I should be able to eat something. Go for Flamethrower. So my play here is Mega Evolve and um, Hurricane for the Confusion, unless I doubt Heat Wave knocks him out. Yeah, so that's the play. We don't get the Confusion and that's going to be the game. Let's see if we can um, Heat Wave him right here and bring down Differential. But that really sucked with the Raku because I would have just swept his team. Yeah, and he misplayed too just by not uh, going this hard Terranitar. Like, what the heck? That doesn't even knock him out. And uh, we'll we'll go for the hurricane. I think good enough. Yeah, so he's gonna go Greninja after this and uh, just take his kill. And if you really look at the matchup right now, if I can, if I could have gotten a confusion on the uh, Lottie, we might have been fine. I'm just gonna go right for the heat wave here. We can't miss thanks to No Guard, but uh, but at least Mega Pidgeot is getting some kills in the last match. But he sacked off his Tyranitar, and this is just gonna go for the scarf uh, hit and knock me out. So um. That's probably going to be the live. Uh, unfortunately, we got hacked out a lot in that match, and then we're back down uh, on the ladder right now. Look at that, minus 19. Alright guys, we're going to get one more match right now. It turns out this live has only been around 27 minutes, and I'm hoping we're going to get one more quick, like, offensive match. I'm hoping it's, we don't find, like, a stall or anything like that. <laughs> that would be unfortunate, because then this live will probably be really long, and that would be unfortunate, because I like to keep these around uh, 30 minutes, so... Uh, we'll see what we get. We find a Chandelure team. I like Chandelure. I did a live with it a few weeks ago. Uh, but what I'll do here is um, lead off with my Pidgeot, I think. His team is really weak to it. I'm hoping he doesn't leave a Rot lead a Rotom. He leads Crook, so I don't know whether this is Scarf or not. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and U-turn out. Uh, hoping he just uh, switches out or does uh, is not Scarf and goes for Stone Edge or something like that. Honestly, it's even worth risking. When I have a lander, it's right here. No, I'm not, not going to risk it. He could be Scarf Stone Edge, and then I would just lose this win con on turn one. So we'll just, uh, and plus at minus one U-turn is not even worth the damage. So we'll go uh, Landorus right here. He's actually really weak to Landorus too. Uh, if I can get rid of Rotom, uh, Landorus with Earthquake can actually be a big threat. Let's see what else. Uh, Dugtrio can trap my Raku, so Raku is probably not going to do a lot this time around. He goes for the Rock, so I guess U-turn was an alright play right there. What I'll do here is just go right for a a U-turn. Stays in, so we'll go top with Mini right here, and uh, we unfortunately cannot uh, defog right now. A Scizor might come out. I'm just gonna go right back out to Landorus, expecting Scizor. But if I'm expecting a Scizor, what do I go out onto for real? I go Magirna, I think. But I can't Magirna on an Earthquake. I'm just gonna Moonblast. He goes Lurantis, which is um, interesting because that'll take a lot. And um, I really need a defog off right now. I think we can live one hit and then follow it up with a defog. So what I'll do here is Nature's Madness. Unless it's Z um, Solar Blade, whatever it's called. Uh, not sure whether that would do a lot of damage right here, but we should live one of anything since we are bulky Finny, and then we should be able to defog the following turn. And top that uh, we missed our Nature's Madness, which sucks, but we should live this, no problem, right? He gets his contrary to the Leaf Storm, but. Um, in all honesty, that's not the biggest of deals, because we know he's not Scarf. So we defog right here. He's going to go forward. This is where that Nature's Madness uh, missing sucked, but what I'll do here is bring out my Pidgeot, Mega Evolve, and Hurricane. That should knock this thing out. It's Lurantis. It's kind of a paper bag. Uh, I'm hoping that three times special attack he's um, tempted to stay in, but no, he's not. Uh, let's see how much this does. 87. It's probably Scarf. What if it's not Scarf? Do I want to take that? Do I have a switch in? Is the better question. I don't. It is Scarf, uh, but we do we take a ton, but we do live, which is the important part because uh, while we are in range of Scizor's Bullet Punch, uh, we still are healthy enough to deal with everything else. So what I'll do here is bring out my Landorus on a Bullet Punch, and then I'll follow it up with an Earthquake. Or I think I have to go hard Magirna in case he Swords Dance. Yeah, we'll do that. He has Swords Dance, so we can hit this guy up with the HP Fire right now. I'm glad I made that play, because um, I know we can live two Bullet Punches, and HP Fire is going to be doing a lot. Uh, I honestly could Volt Switch out right now. Or Ice Beam. 
No, he's be fire. Uh, that's why I wanted to Volt Switch, but it's fine. We'll Volt Switch now. I'm hoping he's faster. Really hoping he's faster. Uh, and doesn't go Duck Trio right here. He shouldn't. He should expect like a Flur Cannon and go something else. He goes Scizor. Okay, perfect. So I'll go out into my... My Greninja. And then we'll throw off the um, Hidden Power Fire right here. It'll do a lot. And S Greninja is the key right now. He goes Rotom. So we can U-turn out on this thing. It's probably Scarf. Uh, if it's Scarf, then I'm just going to go right for... Uh, we don't have U-turn, we have Spikes. Uh, I don't see what make this U-turn, but what we'll do is go out into our... We can go Raikou and attempt to calm mind up. He could will o -S bus. I really don't want to go uh, Pidgeot. I could just start off a Gunk Shot. I could just Spike, but if you go through a Water move, then that's tough. We'll go Raikou. On a Volt Switch, so uh, that's fine. He'll go Duck Trio in here and kill us, but... Then uh, we get to go out into our Pidgeot. And a uh, Heat Wave on, hopefully, the incoming Scizor. It's probably Scarf Road, I'm confirmed at this point. He Volt Switched twice. He was just wondering whether we would go Landorus or not. And Landorus is looking like I could sweep right now if we can get rid of the Rotom. So uh, he should just go Dugtrio, I don't know what he's thinking about. Unless it's Scarf Crook, but we already saw rocks on that thing, so it's definitely not. We might have seen leftovers, did I check? Uh, Crocodile, Taunt, uh, Taco Finny really- oh yeah, it's leftovers, Crocodile. So he goes Dugtrio like he should. Yeah, this probably kills. But we'll just go for HP Ice in case it doesn't. It does. So Pidgeot can come out here. Go right for a Heat Wave. Hoping he's locked in somehow and we just get this Heat Wave off and do a ton. Uh, go Scizor, man. He goes Rotom. Unfortunate. Can we burn? I mean, this is fine because this is the one mon I need damage on. So what I'll do here is he honestly should just go for Hydro Pump. We'll go uh, this, as he will wisps and misses. So what I'll do here is Flash Cannon. Or I could just double out. Flash Cannon's fine. He, we know he's Scarf. Uh, we'll just go for a, a Volt Switch now. He should honestly go out into his Scizor again. Yep, there's the Scizor. It'll take another hit. And then what I'll do here is just bring out my Greninja. Go right for the HP Fire. All I need to do is get rid of the Rotom, and then we'll be fine. We'll definitely be fine if we get rid of Rotom. Wash. So that's the game plan right now. Get rid of Rotom and sweep with Earthquake. Crocodile is obviously a little bit annoying with the Intimidate, but uh, this ideally works out. How much health is Lorantis at? 91. We have to weaken a lot of stuff, but I definitely think we can. Out comes the Rotom on the HP Fire, unfortunately. So I'm gonna extra sensory this now, just get it, get it out of the way. Does a lot. He has an eye of Papa Berry. Ugh. Okay, this is my opportunity to start spike stacking then, since I know he's scarfed into Willow Wisp. He's not, but we get that play right. So now what I do here is I go for Gunk Shot on the water move. That does nothing. He does a lot. And now what I do is I Extra Sensory. I could have 2 it KO'd him. We flinch him though, so a little, I guess uh, a little bit of luck for my bad player out there. We'll go for uh, Extra Sensory again. He goes Crocodile, which is fine. I know we'll like, live a hit from this thing. And we can follow it up with a, another spike. And uh, he kept Rotom healthy, which I guess is smart, but it's going to die on an entry, I think. No, because he doesn't take hazard damage. So he's going he's gonna to be smart there and get up a rocks over anything. So uh, that's going to not let my Pidgeot come back in. I have to go Landorus. And I have to go for... I could Stone Edge sweep him too. But we'll go for U-turn right here. Knock him out. Go out into our um, Magirna. Uh, baiting in the Duck Trio, hopefully. Yep, so if that thing had a sash, it's now broken. I'd sack this thing off. I go for Ice Beam here. I go out into Landorus right here. I go right for a Stone Edge. 
Scizor dies on entry, right? Yeah, it's at 5%, so it'll definitely die on entry. He goes Rotom, so we knock that thing out with the Stone Edge, and Earthquake is looking very nice to sweep him right now. I think what I have to do here is Stone Edge, hope I live. Actually, I don't think I can. He goes for Leaf Storm, does a lot. Did I choke? That, or getting up the rocks is what sealed this game away for me. I think we lose. I just have to Stone Edge crit him right here. We don't. Alright, I just ended up forfeiting that one because obviously Mega Pidgeot died to hazards and Landorus T dropped, so uh, that wasn't going to be that game. I realized that a lot of our matches that we lost were due to um, unconventional teams. Obviously, this team is a very anti meta team, so it wants to counter what's standard, obviously, with the subcom on Direku, so. Unfortunately, all the other anti-meta teams ended up beating ours, so uh, that's just what happened sometimes. Mega Pidgeot did do a lot of work, despite all the um, losses, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the live. Definitely be sure to subscribe down below if you don't want to uh, miss any of my other content. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be starting up a new draft league soon, so that'll be a lot of fun, and as usual, the team will be down in the description below if you guys want to use it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.